Good morning and happy July. I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington, and today I'm going to tie a fly from Solitude Fly Company called the Wounded Sculpin. This is a great little summer streamer pattern, whether you're fishing for trout or you're fishing for big bull trout in the, the Skagit. Uh, it does a fantastic job imitating your, your smaller sculpins that are very plentiful. Um, and it's a pretty easy fly to tie, so I'm going to share that with you today. Uh, we've started out with a size 8 Tiemco 5262 hook in the vise. And then I have added a small black nickel cone to that. Go ahead and get a thread base laid down here. Wrapping back to just above where the barb of the hook would be. I'm then going to start my tail slash wing. Um, this is pine squirrel. Pine squirrel is a lot like rabbits, uh, only it's a little finer uh, fur and thinner hide, so it works very well for these smaller patterns. Um, I'm going to go about three quarters of the way back on the rabbit and kind of manually split that hair. And if it doesn't want to cooperate, just a little bit of saliva to part that hair to give yourself a nice clean tie-in point will work. Take a couple of loose wraps. This is going to want to spin to the side of the hook. Just use your finger to kind of push it back where it needs to be on top of the shank. I am using a burnt orange 70 denier ultra thread for this pattern today. Next I've got some brassy sized copper wire. This is just going to act as a rib and kind of reinforce the fly a little bit. I'll start that wire in and wrap back over it. And then for the body, I'm going to use orange ice dub. I vary the colors of these a lot. I uh, will use a natural squirrel. Uh, the one I'm doing today is a Sculpin olive, olive, black, brown, whatever you like. I pretty much always keep the body this orange color. It seems to match kind of the hue you see on a lot of Sculpin bellies. provides a little bit of flash as well. So I've just twisted that dubbing on and I'm just going to wrap all the way up to the cone head here. I'm going to need a little bit more dubbing to finish this off. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and wind our rib forward in nice even turns. Tie that off. And then we'll just rock that back and forth till it breaks. Next, we're going to stretch the remainder of our pine squirrel hide tight over the back of the fly. And I'm going to place a couple of thread wraps over it just to lock that into place there. I'm going to add a little bit of flash to the fly as well. I've got red holographic flashaboo here. And I'm just going to take off two strands, a couple, couple three inches long. And we're going to center tie it on either side of the hook. So 
starting with the near side of the hook. Once I've made a couple of wraps, I'll wrap back over it to lock that into place. And then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side of the hook. And then I'll, I'll trim those up. I usually leave these a little bit shorter, ex extending not much farther back than the bend of the hook. And then lastly, make sure our thread is in front here. And I'm going to take the remainder of this uh, rabbit. And I'm just going to wind a little collar in an ideal world I would have left myself a little bit more rabbit to, or squirrel to work with that was cutting it close but we made it work and then oftentimes if you Trim this little piece down. You can kind of angle your thread inside the cone and that'll suck that, that little bit of a trimmed piece in there. I don't want this cone flopping around on me when I when I fish so I'm gonna make sure we fill it up with a combination of thread and material until that that locks into place And then because these thread wraps are behind the cone, I usually don't worry about putting head cement or super glue or anything on them. These things will last just fine. We'll do a couple of whip finishes. Tie that off. And then trim our thread. There you have it, a wounded sculpin streamer pattern. This thing works great on small streams and even big rivers like the, the Skagits. Uh, it's also a great fly to tie onto a larger streamer as a dropper fly when the fish might be in the mood for something a little smaller. So, the wounded sculpin. Thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.